In this quick video, I will show you how to import your music and playlist from iTunes into Engine Prime. Once imported into Engine, I'll show you how to prepare your hot cues, loops, user profile, and then transfer everything to your media device. Once prepped and transferred, you'll have access to all of your iTunes music directly on Denny DJ's Prime Series media players. Let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is open iTunes. We need to ensure that iTunes is sharing its library for use in other applications. To do this, open the preferences from the top menu bar. For Windows, you'll find the preferences option under the edit menu. From the preferences window, click the advanced tab and ensure the share iTunes library XML with other applications box is checked. This setting is saved within iTunes, so you can skip this step the next time you want to import or update your iTunes collection within Engine Prime. Once that's done, click OK to close the preferences and close iTunes as well. Next, let's open Engine Prime. Once Engine is open, we need to quickly check a couple of settings to ensure the iTunes integration is enabled and the location of your iTunes library XML is correct. Open the preferences by clicking the gear icon in the top right corner. Next, click the library tab. From here, we want to ensure the iTunes library integration is set to on. We also want to confirm the location of your iTunes library XML file is correct. In most cases, the default will be correct, but if your iTunes is stored in a different location, such as an external hard drive, you want to choose that location here. Again, once these settings have been established, you can skip this step the next time you open Engine Prime. Once confirmed, we can close the Preferences menu by clicking anywhere outside the window. From the Library Collection area, click the iTunes icon. This is where you'll see all of your iTunes music and playlist once they've been imported. To import or update this library, click the words Update iTunes Library from the bottom. Depending on the size of your collection, this process will vary from a few seconds to a few minutes. You can always pop open the job monitor from the right corner to see the status. The job monitor is where you'll find progress on third-party library updates, playlist imports, file transfers, and more. Once completed, you'll have access to all of your music, artwork, and structured playlists. Be sure to update the iTunes library within Engine Prime anytime you add new music or make changes to your iTunes library. Now that we see our iTunes playlists, let's convert them into Engine Prime crates or playlist format. To do this, you can click and drag a playlist into the crate or playlist area. You can also right click and choose import as playlist or import as crate. When files are imported, you may notice track analyze progress at the bottom of the application. By default, all new music is analyzed for BPM, beatgrid, and musical key on import. You can disable this option from the library tab in the preferences menu. When it's set to off, music will not be analyzed until it has been loaded to the deck for the first time. Once analyzed, the performance data is stored and immediately recalled when the track has been loaded a second time. Okay, now we've converted a few playlists, let's quickly prepare a track. First, load a track to the deck by double-clicking the song from the list. You can also click and drag the song and drop it onto the deck area. To prep quickly, you can use the beat jump function and place hotcues throughout the beat grid at different areas of the track. You can right-click on any hotcue button to name and color based on your performance workflow. Once you set your hotcues, switch to loop mode by clicking the loop button to the right of the hotkey button. From here, set your desired loop region and click any one of the eight available save loop buttons. Just like hotcues, you can right click on any save loop button to rename and set the color. Once the music has been prepped, you'll need to transfer or pack the music to your media device. To do this, insert your SD or USB media into your computer. You will then see the device listed under the device area. To the right of your media device name, you will see three icons. The first of which is a circular icon with an arrow. This is the database sync icon. This feature allows you to sync any changes you've made on the media players back to the software. In this case, the icon is unavailable since there are no changes to sync. The second icon is the user profile. Click this button to see various performance settings to tailor the experience to your workflow. All these settings will then be recalled on the hardware once your profile has been loaded. 
The last icon is used to safely eject the drive once you've finished prepping and packing. We're almost there, but don't click the button just yet. Now we need to transfer or pack the crates and playlists we've just created to our media device. To do this, click the desired crate or playlist from the collection window and drag it to the device area. Be sure to drag crates to the device collection and playlist to the device playlist area. To see the packing or transfer status, you can click the job monitor from the bottom right. Always be sure the packing process is complete before ejecting your drive. Once you're finished prepping and the music has been packed to the drive, click the eject button to complete the process. Your drive is now prepped and ready for use on the Prime Series media players.